Shell cannot unduly withhold GMOU money. River State Government has reiterated that the oil mining license OML 25 must be reopened for the operations with the interest of host communities protected by the operating company, Shell Petroleum Development Company, SPDC. Host communities of OML 25 also stated their developmental concerns, urging SPDC to address them for mutual beneficial relationship with the company to be entrenched. Representative of River State Governor and Secretary to the River State Government, Dr. Tami Danagogo, in a meeting the state government convened between the host communities and SPDC, said that River State Governor remains committed to the protection of host communities' interest. The flu station or that facility must be opened. And government feels that for that to happen, because one thing we are sure of is that that facility must be And for that to happen, we feel that the interest of the community needs to be protected. So that in future, we don't have a repeat of whatever has happened. And that is why I feel it is in the best interest of everybody concerned. If you have any genuine concern, he said that the River State Government is discharging its responsibilities of ensuring the peaceful resolution to the issues. At the initial stage, as the government told you that the state government didn't want to really be involved because we felt shell license was almost terminated. And it was like we, we saw it as a battle between two companies as to who will get the license. But at this stage, it must be clear to everybody. Federal government has given renewed the license of share for another 20 years. So what it means is that for the next 20 years, shell must be there, except for the opposite. So to that extent. As a state government and as a law abiding government, what we will do is to see that Shell does not trample upon the rights of our people. So that Shell will listen to our people and see what they ought to do. And if it is reasonable, we ensure that they do it and, and move in and continue with it. The representative of the River State Governor urged the communities to do what is right, ensuring that the state government will, on that premise, prevail on Shell Petroleum Development Company to release the Global Memorandum of Understanding Funds. Shell cannot unduly withhold GMOU monies. What we want as a state government is let the community do the right thing. If you are doing the right thing, we must compel Shell to release this money. You are not the only one. I think I can assure you, Shell must pay that money. And they must pay it as quickly as possible. The, what, we need, what we need is, let us have a clear understanding. General Manager, External Relations of Shell Petroleum Development Company, Mr. Igo Welly said that the SPDC is ready to dialogue with the communities and resolve the issues raised. So uh, let me, I, I noted some things and very good points. Let me just clarify them. We are here to solve problems. We'll come with an open mind, and I'm saying it seriously. You heard my rugby chairman on Saturday who want to solve problems. There's no perfect company in this world. He said that the existing Global Memorandum of Understanding, GMOU, has expired, but working with the communities, another GMOU will be worked out for the development of the communities. The top one is uh, the retaining the funds for Belema. I mean, I heard it from a man of uh, Belema. The funds for each community is stipulated in the GMOU. And you know, every community will have their own community trust. And you know you are not. So even if one community has a problem, we can give you your own money to go ahead. So once we do it properly, specify how much belongs to every community, have your own community trust, 
one community will not hold the rest down. If you have a problem, we localize your problem and then we'll sort out the ones that can operate. That's what we've been doing. He informed that today is 960 million naira on ground in line with the existing GMOU, saying that the company is ready to invest the funds. There's no perfect solution. If we wait for a day when every single person in these communities is absolutely 100% happy, then we don't want to move forward. Once you get 80 20, get to a point where 80% of people feel this makes sense, then let's do it. We don't intend to. We want to operate in a way that all stakeholders will feel recognized. But of course, there are rules. Even GMO, and SSG, you know, you said host community, they are the one that are impacted, and of course, impacted cannot get more than host. So once we all agree and accept that every game needs rules for it to make sense, even now we have here, even after you've done something, they will look at the TV and say, come back, it's a penalty. So once we agree, I'm sure we'll move forward. The GMO will also be modified to fit the new uh, business. So maybe that's something that will show when we do the reconciliation. The Amunayab of Kola King Kroma Eleki alleged that the shell working with a section of the kingdom are marginalized others. He also said that the community leaders also create the atmosphere for the marginalization of the kingdom. Shell says the operation connived with a section of the kingdom and marginalized other sections. And our own people also, in order to corner whatever thing that will accrue from the company, try to edge out other people by saying that the owners of Belima, the Israel Nessus, the Amayana Box, and the kings of the place. He said that when Shell started operations, it was agreed that 60% of proceeds must go to Kula community and 30% to Belema. He regretted that Shell failed to respect the agreement. King Eleki said though the federal government can open the OML 25, Shell should carry out its corporate social responsibility to the communities. He also called on the federal government to work towards protecting the interests of the host communities. When Shell started the operation, there was an understanding and an agreement that anything that is agreeable from that source, 60% must go to Kula community and 30% to Belima. Shell has not done that. So we cannot say that the federal government cannot open their own facility. But then there is corporate social responsibility which Shell has to do and which we expect they should do. We as a community, cannot stop federal government from opening their facility. But federal government also has responsibility to its citizens that are not unnecessarily marginalized or neglected by a company operating in our area. So the federal government should also come to our aid to ensure that the agreement we reach with them, they should stand by it Amayabo of Belema King Ibanibo Kaliareye said Belema is the host community, but all the funds meant for the host communities were diverted to Kola. Now, the takeover of the flow station, the takeover of the flow station, Belema is not involved. They are not involved. The military men are there. <coughs> Another military group came with gunboat. The officer that came, he may be the superior than the one that at the station. Take over the station. The military men who are there are federal government. The people who take over the station are federal government. But because of that, I now go to read to the people who occupy that place are illegal because I am the traditional ruler. There is no way I will not know. You put a military man here, another military man come and take over the thing from who we are there. And Belema is the host community to share. And during the period, these people, Kola people, all the money that are 
to develop Bilima, diverted to Kula. He said that OML 25 was illegally occupied by some persons who connived with another set of soldiers to take over the facility. Take over of the flow station. You take over of the flow station. But they are not involved. They are not involved. The military men are there. Another military group came with gunboat. The officer that came, he may be he's superior than the one that at the station. Take over the station. The military men who are there are federal government. The people who take over the station are federal government. Because of that, I now go to read it. So the people who occupy that place are illegal because I am the traditional ruler. There is no way I will not know. The Amnaya of Belema King Ibanibo Kaliorei said, going forward, no funds meant for the development of Belema community should be sent to Kola. Now, this period now, Shara agreed, since they are accusing them that Belema there is no development on that, this or that, that. Now, Shara to sign a separate GMO with Belema to see that they develop that place. Let every person see. And then personally, I don't need money from any person. Even contract, I want share to do whatever they need to do. Or give to any person that they know. If it is fails, they can hold that person. Not giving out to uh, this, that. Tomorrow he ate the money and then he ate the money. Tomorrow he cannot hold it. I am not a party to that. He said, despite the challenges, Shell had executed some important projects in the area as a result of the existence of OML 25. So, and the men that have shared, give us a jetty, 1986. 1986. Uh, generator, genset, genset. And uh, they are supplying us uh, 7,500 liters. They drill the borehole. That borehole is the one some people from Kula come here, take the water. Some people from flow station will come and take water there. And they electrify everything. Also speaking, the Amarabha of Opu Kula King Hope Opusingi said Shell should come out clean and declare the funds due to the communities on the basis of the GMOU. From 2016, if it is 1.3 let us be fair, let the chair come up clean and say, this is it. The amount we are owing us is 900, according to them. I told chairman, it is not 900. It is 1.3 billion assets 2016. And the principle of that GMOU is that it continues to print. And as far as um, the year runs out, uh, the year continues to run, it will keep relying on the old agreement. Just like the chairman said, uh, sorry, the, um, the SSG said. So let us handle that one and agree how much first they are owing us. He said that the meeting should agree on the amount of the funds that Shell should invest and the communities that are entitled to the investment. The meeting had in attendance the chairman of Akukutoru Local Government Area, Honorable Roland Sekibor, the member representing Akukutoru Constituency 1 at the River State House of Assembly, Right Honorable Major Jack and Honorable Puende Lulu, Member representing Akukutoru State Constituency 2 at the River State House of Assembly and the Community Development Committees of the Stakeholders Communities of OML 25. It will be recalled that River State Governor Yesomezon Wike directed the Secretary to the River State Government, Dr. Tami Danagogo, to convene a meeting of all key stakeholders in the presence of security service commanders for the host communities to outline their grievances to Shell Petroleum Development Company SPDC and for the company to address such developmental concerns.